All right, let's keep it going. I do at least want to finish the season. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Whether or not this, is, this ends up being our, our last hurrah, who's to say? Uh, honestly, just leave John Scott in at this point. If someone gets hurt, well, too bad. He shouldn't have gotten injured. Stay healthy, losers. Stay healthy. Have you tried not getting hurt? Goodness. John Michael Lyles was on waivers. Son of a bitch! Why didn't I see the waiver claim? Probably because we're a good team that's won 42, 42 games this year. But Sidney Crosby has over 100 points. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be a playoff team this year, which is nice. First time in two seasons. I think we're good. Damian Jackman. Brooks Like was hurt. Again, the whole transaction is good. I just, I love this, this menu so, so much more than what we have for modern NHL. There's a lot more information readily available. It's just, it's, it's a better way. It's a better setup, in my opinion. Everything you need. Right there. Ready to go. We have fun here. Probably going to win 50 games, or at least just a little bit below. A little bit below. Let's see. Crosby's probably going to lead the team in goals and assists. Oh, we're not going to be heading into the playoffs on the hottest of notes. We end our season against... Toronto. And with that, we are back in the playoffs. 47 wins. And we draw the San Jose Sharks in the first round of the playoffs as we were the eighth best team in the NHL and the fifth ranked team in the West. Technically the fourth, but Columbus won a division title, whereas we did not. So, yeah, the Sidney Crosby effect in full view. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's take a look at the numbers here from this season. Yeah, I think Sidney Crosby, Taylor Hall, and Jordan Eberle enjoyed playing on the same line. I like how Jordan Eberle is the the worst of the line with 92 points. Um, goodness, from there, I mean, you can debate who should be on what line. God, Cogliano sucked this season. Shammy, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. Um, our depth sucked this season. Um, there is no way to put it other than that. Um, those two sim totals are pretty high. You rarely see someone, like, you get like one or two players a year with over 100 points. Um, yeah, so this was this was quite good. Um, I want to see, I'm going to take a look at points, kind of plus minus, see where people were. Uh, just to see who deserves the chance to get onto a higher line this season. And uh, some of these guys, if they were bad enough, I'm probably going to scratch them. Skinner had a really good point total, but was just not good defensively. Hemsky only had 32 points. He has been a massive disappointment. Even if you're not on the top line, my man, you got less points than Jeff Skinner. Um, Andrew Cogliano was abysmal. Like, if you take that point total and subtract his plus minus, uh, he was uh, a minus 15. <laughs> uh, Burmistroff obviously just avoids the, uh, the negative fate. Uh, Dubnik was the starter for the majority of the season, but by the end of it, he did not finish the season in goal. Magnus Pajarvi was terrible. Holy God. Dinus Zubris is the worst so far. Absolutely brutal. Oh, my God. Uh, and then Brooks Machek, who was sent down. 
at a certain point in the season actually ends up looking a little bit better by the end of it. That's pretty bad. Uh, defensively. Defensively. Theo Peckham actually led the uh, led the team in points. I'm surprised. He was on the third pair for most of it. Uh, Tyson Berry's continuing to develop well. Alex Plant was probably our best overall. Uh, Theo, I don't know if Theo's still following me on Twitter. He uh, <laughs> guy tried to use me for free hot stuff. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. That was the only way to put it. He's like, you, you know, you know who can give me the the hot hookups. The franchise guy was pretty much what he, what his, uh, his, his intentions happened to be. So that was pretty funny. Uh, Sheldon was not great this season. Oh man, um, not the John Scott was either. But yeah, we might have to change some things around defensively. And then from the goaltending perspective, Darcy Kemper, man, had the nine one one. We're gonna be rolling with Kemper. In the playoffs as the starter over Devin Dubnik. So I did not expect that to be the case. But let's take a look at the end of season stats for around the league. Not Janice. Janice uh, didn't play that much. So limited sample size. Uh, let's see. Top scorers, Crosby and Hall. And then you see only two other guys broke 100 points. It was Tyler Ennis and Marion Gabrick. And it's up to an 85. Damn. Top goal scorer was Crosby. And Ennis, the only other guy to break 50. And then Taylor Hall there with 46. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, penalty minute king was Dan Carcillo with 112. Cam Jansen was up there too. And because it was asked about, the hit leader was Steve Ott with 271. Who I had traded away. Let's look at the defenseman. Top point getter, Cam Fowler. Baby Fowler. Damn. 73 points. 67 for Chris Russell. Myers with 60. Top goal scorer, Bo Meester with 16. Damn, I really should have landed him. Uh, and then for the goalies, the winningest was Ryan Miller. No real surprise there. Uh, shutout leader with eight, Mark andre Fleury. And for the Calder race, Josh Godfrey, Keaton Ellerby, Ty Wishart's. Kind of the top three there in terms of points. Unless Chet Pickard wins it as a goalie. Who knows? Maybe even Kemper. He played 38 games. So who's to say? Um, but. A look at the rest of the playoffs there. Again, we are the fifth seed taking on the fourth seed San Jose Sharks. The Sharks. Pittsburgh still made the playoffs even without Crosby. So, congrats to them. But we have some roster moves to make. Um, you know what? Dubnik can be the backup. Behind Kemper. So, Plant and Chorney are safe. Peckham and Barry are safe. McNeil is safe. I have to decide, honestly, if I want Surrey or Scott to play or if I want to give Brandon Gormley the opportunity. Gormley was okay. Actually, you know what? Really quickly. Really, really quickly. I want to check AHL stats here, too. I want the, uh, the best players for the job. Be given opportunities. Not guys who have the best ratings, but the players who actually do well. Um, let's load up these AHL stats in OKC. So for forwards, I mean, it's Toffoli. If anyone gets that primary call up, you know, we'll go through here, the AHL, really quickly just to see how people did. Uh, but Tyler Toffoli was awesome in the AHL. It's only a 71, but man, I don't care. Uh, DSP as well did pretty good. JG Pajot, the point total wasn't insane. 
But um, he also wasn't that bad because I'm going to be looking at probably demoting quite a few players. Zach Cassian won't be getting the call up with that defense. Clifford, Yarncroke, Peluso. Uh, Landeskog. Landeskog might even get a look at this stage. And then Brooks. Um, Brooks wasn't that bad. Brooks wasn't that bad if you look at the uh, the AHL side of things. He was okay. You could argue. I mean, Landeskog was a little bit better, but Brooks also had less time. Reginbald wasn't good. Mark Stone was okay-ish for how bad he is. Uh, Andre Palat was terrible. Okay. And then defensively, Brandon Gormley was pretty good. Nathan Bully. The Nathan Bully. Um, you could argue was probably the best one. Cody, take it easy. Uh, and then Sammy Votnin. Sammy Votnin was also pretty good. I'd rule out anyone else from getting called up. So if we... Back to coaching options. Again, screw players who are higher rated. It's either you perform or you don't. Call up the Janus. Drop the Dubnik. Surrey is not going to make the cut. But Bouillou and Gormley are. And we're going to be dropping Surrey and Scott at least to start. And we're going to trust the younger guys to perform at a high level. Hemsky can stay. Bad as he is. Pyarvi was so bad. Um, not worried about Peluso. Machik wasn't that bad. But we do want to call up Tyler Toffoli. We're going to drop Dynas Zubris for him. Uh, Devontae smith Pelly is getting called up for the playoffs. We're going to drop Magnus Pyarvi. Cogliano is going to get dropped for J.G. Pajot. Again, I don't care if Cogliano is uh, an 81. Couldn't care less. Um, he was terrible. And then Machik's already off the roster. Bermistroff. Honestly, let's, let's do it. Uh, Michael Scarbosa for Alex Bermistroff. We go best lines. So we take a look. Obviously, Hall, Crosby, and Eberly will still be the top line. Second line is going to be Gagne, Brule, and Molson. And then we're going to have Skinner, Hemsky, and Toffoli. So that's looking okay. Who the hell is going to be the center of this line? Probably going to be Jeff Skinner. 80 face-offs for Skinner. Foley, Skinner, Hemsky, and who has better face-offs between Pajo and Scarbosa? 69 for Pajo, 70 for Scarbosa. So DSP, Scarbosa, and Pajo. Defense is going to be Plant and Chorney. Peckham and Barry. McNeil will play with Gormley. Uh, and for the most part, player development happens at the end of a season instead of during. We'll have Kemper as the starter. That works for me. Like I said, I mean, we had higher rated dudes that weren't doing a damn thing. So why play them? I have the same attitude in modern NHL to this day. I would much rather play guys that did play well in a lower league and give them a chance. And if we lose, we lose. Uh, but the San Jose Sharks. What do they look like? In 2014. Jamie McGinn with Joe Thornton and Steve Downey. Danny Heatley, Patrick Marlowe, and the Goocher. Stahlberg, Couture, Andreas Nodal, Tori Mitchell, Joe Pavelski, and Os Osland. Not Osland as in Rasmus Osland, but Osland. Their defense, Boyle and Vlasic, Doug Murray, Nick Patrecki, Cohn, and Derek Joslin. Oh, boy, that's a good team. Goalie, Antero, Nidamaki, and uh, Pekka Rene. <laughs> oh, God. We're in trouble. We are in trouble. It is round one. 
Game one against the Sharks. We're up one nothing. Devontae Smith Pelly. It's two two. Late in the game, it's two two. And you know what? We're gonna enjoy. We're gonna enjoy the playoffs. Oh, you gotta put the Sharks in the alternate. You gotta do it. Can we wear a different Oilers road jersey? God, that other road jersey sucks. Let's put that one on from the eighties. Do Winkle. It's uh you know. It's a time. It's a time. <sighs> Franchise in some ways has improved, but it hasn't in others, which is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. All right. Here we go. Late in the game. Might even be overtime at the start of it. It's game one against the Sharks. Normally we save it for elimination games. Five minutes left in the third. We're probably going to lose this opening draw because I did not uh, do neutral. And indeed, we traded for Sidney Crosby last season, which is hilarious. Taylor Chorney on our top defensive pair. Over to Alex Plant. Now to Taylor Hall. Hall makes the move. Couldn't get the short side. Mark Edward Vlasic for Boyle. Steve Downey. Off the pad of Darcy Kemper. Who makes the save? Very good, Darcy. Very good. We have a very different team than what we had even just five minutes ago. So... Our top line's still out there. That puck's gonna be moved by the winger after Eberle. The the Where are you going, Jordan? Miscommunication. Plant. Kind of Finds Chorney up for Crosby. Sidney Crosby. Crosby, the captain of his first season. Cut to the middle. Crosby can't get by Murray. Here's Heater. Danny Heatley. Brissetta Gucci. Couldn't get the shot off. Whew. We're hanging in there. I like the OKC Barons mask on Kemper. I gotta see if I can give him the starter mask. Marlo wins the draw. Patrecki for Guccher. Murray deflects wide off of Marlo. Gagne. Held up. Peckham for Molson. Now to Gilbert Brule. Brule the move. Brule the shot. Great save by Nidamaki. Brule for Peckham. Fakes the shot. Throws a deflection in front. Gagne chips it just wide. Barry to Gagne. Tyson Barry. Shot on. Saved by Nidamaki. Rebound. Gagne and Molson. Molson! What a pass from Gagne. Matt Molson. Off the glove. Off the post. Dies. On the line. That is insanity. Oh my god. Off the stick of Patrecki as well. Tori got rid of it in time. Maybe should have covered that. <sighs> we continue tied at two. Oh, what a cut by Downey. Steve Downey, good save. Rebound. Oh, my God. Darcy Kemper. He's in the fucking face-off circle. All right, Darcy. I respect the aggression. Downey leveled him. We got Toffoli, Skinner, and Hemsky. Norton wins the draw. Jamie McGinn, good save by Kemper. Brandon Gormley. Our best defenseman in the AHL this season turns it over. Boyle dumps to the far side corner. Play by Gormley. Over to Reed McNeil. That was scary. McNeil. Reed McNeil for Toffoli to McNeil. Good save. 
Hemsky for McNeil. They continue to play catch. McNeil shot deflected wide. To Foley. To McNeil. Skinner. Loses it. Minute and a half to go. Game one, the opening round. Shot, puck on. Catcher's jam. This is incredibly back and forth. I don't know how one of the teams hasn't scored yet. My God. Big time draw opportunity. Crosby wins the draw. Chorney to Eberly. All the way now for Hall. Can't find Crosby. Into the middle to Con. Two on two on the rush. Nodal. Save Kemper. Plant bumps Couture off the puck, but gets stripped of it. Joslin for Nodal. Good block. Taylor Hall turns it over. Victor Stahlberg. Held up. Double team. Scarbosa comes up with it. Plant for Scarbosa. Michael Scarbosa. The Devante Smith Pelly has a goal in this game. Scarbosa saved. DSP to Scarbosa. Scarbosa, look at the skating. Chorney shot, save, rebound. Nidimaki covers. Dude, Michael Scarbosa. Oh my god. <laughs> Elskoff, oh, the Molson. Ah, oh, the Molson, no goal. Dude, Scarbosa was insane. We got Gagne on the draw. Are we going to overtime? Shot save, rebound saved again. Barry for Gagne. Barry shot to flex. Rebound. Cone cooks. There's no fucking way. Dude. Off his dick. Off the pad. And Khan saves it from going in. That's a mighty long shot. Not a very good one in that situation. Five seconds. One more chance for the Sharks. Mitchell bumped off the puck. There's a penalty called. San Jose will start overtime on the power play. How we even got to overtime, I have no idea. Hmm. Matt Molson. Shout out to Nico for the follow. Oh my god, that save by Nidimaki. Jesus. All right. Overtime, game one. Playing HL24 trash can. No one's, it's an old garbage game. Over 140 people apparently do, sir. And you are one of them because you clicked on it. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. Right. We want the cup chance in game one. Respect it from Sharks fans. Setaguchi. Oh, my God. Rebound. Plot. Got it. Skinner sends it back around. Nobody there. Boyle fakes the shot. Thornton save by Kemper. In front, Thornton save by Kemper. Darcy standing on his head as Jeff Skinner clears it. Dude, Darcy Kemper's making some amazing saves. Setaguchi. It's the Goocher. To Heatley. Heatley, good shot block. Gormley for Crosby. He'll dump it in. Boys putting their bodies on the line. Errant pass. No icing. Peckham able to clear it. Well done, Theo. Tedaguchi's like a mid-80s overall. Pretty good. Pavelski, 20 seconds left on the man advantage. Marlowe has it poked away. Taylor Hall, can he make something happen shorthanded? No, Jocelyn and Marlowe double team. Here's Stahlberg. Victor Stahlberg, save, loose puck. Peckham has it. We're still in trouble. Chance. What? How the hell did they not score? <laughs> Rough turnover. Stahlberg bumped off. Dude, this is insane. Roulette for Hall. 
Taylor Hall can't make the move. Here's Molson now for Peckham. He'll dump it into the far side. Gagne for Barry. Matt Molson. Gagne to Barry again. His shot blocked. Peckham on net. Nidimaki covers. This has been very entertaining. AI versus AI. Oh my god. I should have started up on YouTube for NHL 11, not NHL 15. Or 16. I think it was 16. God damn. Whew. Three minutes gone in overtime. And with a score tied here in Face off. Eberly backhand stop by Ninimaki. Classic has trouble with Crosby. Eberly can't win it. Boyle for Thornton. This is only game one. Thornton. Still fighting for it. Finds its way to Crosby. He's held up. Sharks have it. Patrecki to Setaguchi. Boyle to Heatley. Can't get to the forehand. Thornton back to Heater. In front, Crosby's there. Now Jordan Eberly. Eberly gets flattened by Dan Boyle. Setaguchi. Shot stopped. Barry plays it out to the wall. Gets it again. Jordan Eberly has a bit of space. Can't get the puck on net. Like that top line's tired, but our coach hasn't called a line change again. I have no control. There's the line change. Andreas Nodal, former flyer. Kachura for Patrecki. That one deflects off a broken stick, actually. Barry, loose puck. Nodal for Boyle, one-timer save, and a swing and a miss from Logan Kachura on the baseball attempt. Gagne for Eberly. Eberly shot, saved by Nidamaki. And he'll cover. <laughs> Five minutes gone in the overtime. This is worthy of a freaking conference final game seven. Very tired third line out for the Sharks right now. Skinner wins the draw. Gormley back to him. Reed McNeil deflected just wide. Stahlberg for Kahn. Penalty called on the Oilers. And for the second time in this overtime, the Sharks go to the power play. Two for elbowing on Hemsky, apparently. Not great. Joslin scores. Derek Jocelyn on the power play and San Jose takes game one. Known more for his time in the AHL with Worcester. But he is the hero of game one. And with this one completed, let's take a look at the three stars. Your third star, Devontae smith pelly Your second star, Derek Joslin. Two goal game for him as well. And your first star from the San Jose Sharks, the goaltender, number 30 on to row, Nidimaki. 35 saves for Nidimaki. And the Sharks survive to take game one, Matt Molson. For a long time to come, we'll remember the chance that he could not bury. But a clean win for Jumbo in the face-off dot. You can see 16 there. Is that Setaguchi? That is Devin Setaguchi. The screen in front from Setaguchi. Perfect. And gets right out of the way. Top corner. Absolutely perfect. Placement from Derek Joslin. Nothing that Darcy Kemper could do. That was beautiful from the AI. Can't complain. Sharks win. Game one, three to two. As we'll go to game two. The Gucci Masterclass, indeed. Game number two. Two nothing San Jose. Four one San Jose. Five two. 
And that is how it ends. First period goals from McGinn and Stahlberg. Hemsky gets one back for us in the second, but two goals from Marlowe made it 4-1 and a goal apiece in the third. Danny Heatley for San Jose, Gilbert Brule for us. Um, San Jose up 2-0 in the series. Could argue what we'd be looking like if I didn't send down certain players that are a bit better, but um, I'm sticking with it at this point. Sticking with it. You're not in trouble until you lose on home ice. It is game three at home. one nothing Sharks. 2-2. Two, 4-2. Two. Four, 4-3 two. Four, is your final. The Oilers take game three. We're not done yet. Oslin for the Sharks. We responded with Eberle. Douglas Murray made it 2-1. Barry makes it 2-2. Two, two. Plot 3-2. Hall 4-2. And then right at the end, Andreas Nodal made it 4-3. That's how it stayed. So we are right back in the series. A 4-3 win. Can't afford to lose game four, though. We got to tie the series up. Matt Molson is apparently not playing at 100%. At least so it's said. Let's check the injury reports. We have an injury report. We do. No, he's apparently fine. Game lies, man. We go to game four. Zero zero. One nothing. Still one nothing. Three, or not three minutes, five minutes to go in the third period. A one zero lead for the Sharks. Can we tie this series up at two apiece? Because if not, we're in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. We need a win here. A win. We need a win. Really young team. Future's bright. Crosby under contract for eight years. I recommend 11 for franchise mode. Again, it's not perfect. Trade values can still be uh, a little bit off. But I'm for damn sure having fun. Like I said, the nostalgia factor does some lifting for some of the shortcomings of this mode. Crosby to Everly. Couldn't hold it. Thornton held up. Loose puck to Downey. Everly finds Plant. Crosby save by Nidamaki. Point blank chance for Crosby. NHL 10, though, for what I talked about with the trading, like NHL 10 was even more wild, so it definitely got better. Obviously, I'll eventually be able to speak about 12, 13, and such. Boyle stopped. That's Brule. Blount tried to feed it ahead. Brule can't hold it. Gagne fighting. And we're down 2-1 in the series. Chorney having trouble. Doesn't know where it is. Downey saved by Kemper. Plays it out for Chorney. Now it's Molson. Over to Plant. Cross for Gagne. Can't make the move into the middle. Are we going through all the NHLs? Honestly, probably. I'm probably going to alternate between this and uh, Anisha with the, the friendos on 24. You know, we'll mix in the FIFA Pro Clubs night here and there, but um, there is, you know, obviously right now, no timetable for when franchise mode is going to be fixed. And I have no problem playing old franchises on older games. No problem at all. This has been fun. we got plenty of other games. Every year there'll be the new junior players or someone like, uh, you know, you think about it, the first year draft, and this one is year 11 or uh, 2011 draft. You'll have players in this game that aren't as highly rated as they should be. That will eventually... Be better. What a chance for Alesh Hemsky. Might not be here too much longer. See Gagne just get dropped. Plus, every year we'll get to see the improvements in the gameplay and stuff like that when we watch. So, <sighs> Saved by Nidamaki. There's a lot of fun to be had with these old franchise modes, man. 24 is not going to deliver. I am... Uh, I, despite the fact that I mostly stream sports games, I am at least versatile, and you guys allow me 
uh, that versatility. Skinner? Oh. And I thank you guys for that. Like, there's a lot of people where it's like, man, if Hutt was screwed, there's a lot of people for 24 where, like, shit, what do I do? For me, we found the answer pretty fast. You know? And I thank you guys for allowing me to be able to still be uh, successful on the platform despite playing a game from 2010. Another save from Nidimaki. Oh my god. Dude, he has been a wall. 38 saves tonight. You have to wonder when our coach elects to pull the goalie. Pace off here. They win it. Lossick finds McGinn. Over to Jumbo. Can't make the move. Emski, 107 to go. Otherwise, we're facing a 3-1 deficit. Skinner. Jeff Skinner. Can't make the move into the middle. Minimaki's going to be forced to cover. 51 seconds. Will the coach pull the goalie? He hits in the game for Vlasic. I loved when the Sharks utilized orange. I thought it looked great. Brule with the whole lane. Freaking 360 shot. Dougie Murray, leader in neck per 60. Crosby on the draw. Wins it. Plant for Hall. Can't make the pass. Eberly. Finds Plant. Crosby scores! Sydney Crosby! And we are tied. Oilers legend. Sidney Crosby has tied this game at one with 38 seconds to go. It's Molson tried the cut. Molson nearly got that in front. Space for the Sharks in front. Couture. Ooh. Batted back to the blue line. Stahlberg. Intercepted. Well, off a skate. Now here's Molson. 12 seconds. Dumps it in. On the back of the net. Con loses to Gagne. Holds him up. Brule. Brule. Save by Nidamaki. One point two away from another overtime in this series. One more look at the goal from Sidney Crosby. Picture perfect. To that glove side corner. Face off one, Smith Pelly can't get the shot on. We're going to OT. Oh, they're John. Smith Pelly. All right. I, I like the I like the scramble. Oh my God, though that hit on Gagne. But what a goal for Sid. We go to overtime. Rally towels out in full force. We've outshot him 41 to 29. Both goalies have been on point in this game. We need a win. And our overtime Crosby wins the draw. We'll Lot for Chorney. He'll dump it in. And dump it over the glass, to be more specific. Love dropping my phone. It's a great time. Back to that center dot. Marlowe can't beat Crosby. Gets the puck back. Sid tried to go to Everly. The Chorney. Crosby. Back to the point. Taylor Chorney. Crosby again. Over to Plant. Shot deflected off the toe of Nidimaki. Chorney and Plant have been insane. Over to Setaguchi. Uchur can't make the move. Eberly for Hall. Taylor Hall tries the move. Save Nidimaki. Petrecki battling. Now it's Eberly for Chorney. Crosby. Great block. 
Everly and Crosby in the corner. It's Everly. Tried to go to the point. Lose stick. Plant. Chorney. Hall. Where's he going to go? Back to Chorney. His shot. Knocked down. Crosby denied. What a great chance for Sid. So, so close. Here's Setaguchi with space. Runs out of room. Plant for Brule. Now Crosby. Over the Deadwood. Crosby, you are seeing a lot of what you still see to this day. AI skating and trying moves. Barry to Crosby. Back to Tyson Barry. His shot. Challenged. And stopped by Nidimaki. But the young Oilers are controlling the play despite the Sharks having a lot heavier of a veteran presence in their lineup. Face off. Thornton has it. Trying to avoid a 3-1 series deficit. McGinn can't make the move. Now it's Sam Gagne who dumps it in. Ninimaki will play it. Finds Boyle. Jumbo Joe. Back for Vlasic. Thornton to Boyle. Good movement from the Sharks. Boyle deflected. Saved by Kemper. With Joe Thornton. On the doorstep, Darcy Kemper. Big, big save. There from Thornton as well. Look at Danny Heatley on the bench. Winger moves in to pick up that puck. Good tie up in the Skinner. Young Jeff Skinner. For Hemsky. Back to Skinner. To fully denied. Nidimaki. This could have been a sweep for the Oilers. Toffoli gets ragdolled. Back to the point. Pavelski picks it off. Pavelski for Boyle. Now Tori Mitchell. Boyle for Oslin down low. Boyle's shot. Save Kemper. Mitchell saved by Kemper. Dude, just the back and forth is... <sighs> Damn. A lot of chances on both sides. Here's off win for Couture. Stahlberg to Nodal. Held up. Barry has it. Finds Gagne. Gagne can't make the move past Joslin. Good pressure. Joslin, the hero of game one in overtime. No, it old backhand. Stopped by Kemper. He paid for that shot, too. He got ran over. Thought he was going to charge Kemper for a minute. Oof. All right, Nidimaki, I need you to not be... 2012 Braden Holpe, please. Off that face -off, tied up the D the Gucci shot stopped. Alex Plant for Jordan Eberly. Eberly back to Crosby. His pass intercepted by Marlowe. Numbers for the Sharks. Marlowe to Heatley. Good stop by Kemper. All for Plant. Crosby over the line. Taylor Hall, glove save. Dude, Hall just got destroyed. Oh, my God. What a hit. Oh, my God. He's lucky he didn't pull, his, uh, pull everything. Tear his ACL. <laughs> Jesus. Flexible Taylor Hall. This gets brick-walled by Doug Murray. Yeesh. <sighs> Want them to win this. I want him to win it. Skinner versus Thornton on the faceoff. Thornton wins it. Joe's just a beast on the draw, man. Puck dumped in. Kemper. Oli shrugs off the hit. Brandon Gormley for Jeff Skinner. Skinner. The fucking mohawk slap shot. That one doesn't go. Creative skating from Skinner. Kemper gonna look to play it again. 
Wraps it around for Gormley. Takes a hit. Skinner's there to help. Clears the zone. Cut doesn't go. Gormley gets it over Couture. McNeil for DSP. Wraps it around. That was a really smart play. Joslin read it well, though. Logan Couture can't make the move. Kemper plays it out for McNeil. Almost own gold it. Matt Molson. Cross for Brule. We got a line change in there. Brule can't dump it in. Nodal dumps it back in. Pavelski to Khan. Joslin scores! Derek Joslin again. His second overtime winner of the series. Derek Joslin. Gives San Jose a 3-1 series lead. Uh, Avros, some not all. Only way to phrase an Antero Nidimaki, 46 saves. We are in a whole lot of trouble. As Derek Joslin again through the traffic. Seeing eye, Kemper totally loses sight. Avro, don't get NHL 24 right now if you're a franchise-only player. So close for Kemper, but like literally you can look at the traffic in front of him. I mean, look at that. How, how could Darcy see it? And that's one of those ones where if it gets through, it's going in. Just no shot for Darcy Kemper. They beat us again by getting traffic in front of goal. <sighs> Pushing us to the brink. Game five in San Jose. I'm sticking with the younger lineup, man. I'm doing it. They deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. If we fall, we fall. Game five. one nothing Sharks. 2-2. Two -two. And this could be it. We are down... To our final five minutes, perhaps. We need another miracle to try and survive this and extend our season, but we're down by one with five minutes to go. Sharks just look to be too strong. Like, we are still missing a few things with this team that I think we'll be able to get soon. Picked up the go-ahead goal. Now we'll see if it holds up. Yeah, it's just not looking yeah, like we have enough. Sweat Dog, what's going on, man? Here we go. Five minutes to try and save our season. Jordan Everly gets mauled by Jamie McGinn. Oil the Downey. Downey tried to go in front. Kemper's there to cover. Sweat Dog, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Mentioned I was kind of feeling under the weather for most of the day. Still not feeling amazing. We're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. I mean, I'd be sitting in this office doing nothing anyway, because there's no way I can sleep. I slept all goddamn day trying to feel better. Another good save for Darcy Kemper. San Jose right now just keeping us pinned in our own zones. Not, not a good place to be. It's the final countdown. Yeah. Crosby wins the draw. Here's Eberle. He'll dump it in. Maki's there. Weird move. Eberly for Crosby. Eberly again throws one on. Nidimaki paddles it away. Crosby battling Murray. Crosby. Sydney Crosby. Nidimaki goes full wash cycle to keep that one out. Crosby helped force overtime in game four, even though we fell short. And that's two unanswered goals. 
And that will probably do it. Too aggressive from Kemper. What a pickup by McGinn. And he had a wide open net. A big goal coming here in the third period to increase their lead to two. And with the time on the clock, now what they've got to do is hang on to it. It should be the death blow. I mean, they've got enough to win here. Our season is very likely over. McGinn nearly scored again. They've dominated possession here. We finally get it. Tyson Berry. For Gagne. Brule back to Gagne. Brule, it deflected wide. Good passing. Over to Nodal. Saved by Kemper. Again, who knows what would have happened if I ran guys like Sheldon Surrey, but they were terrible in the regular season. The younger guys showed a hell of a lot of heart. 2.20 to go. <laughs> okay. It stayed out. Jeff Skinner. Making moves, can't hold it. Boyle was there. Heater. Loses the stick. It's Hemsky. 145 to Foley. Skinner save Nidimaki. On Taro Nidimaki. What a performance. Setaguchi loses it to Skinner. The Foley dumps it in. Nidimaki, a little bit of trouble. Petrecki's there. We're almost down to the final minute of our season. It'll be a gentleman's sweep of the Oilers by the Sharks. J.G. Pajot for Devontae smith Pally. Pajot backhand, loose puck, Scarbosa! The fourth line, Michael Scarbosa! Gets us back to within one. Never say never. But a big goal there. Edmonton with 59 seconds to go. I think Michael Scarbosa just made this team for next season. He's been awesome in the playoffs. Here's Chorney. Had to make a move. Nidimaki played it out. Trouble. Hall. Crosby. Now Chorney. Back to Hall. Bad play there by Taylor Hall. This puck bouncing around everywhere. Taylor Hall can't get it towards net. Stahlberg, 30 seconds. Logan Couture loses it. Plot for Pajot. Goalie heads to the bench. Pajot sends it around. Mitchell's there. Now for Kahn. Up ahead, Oslin can't get it in. Oh my god. Chorney, 10 seconds. For Plot, seven. They got to get it forward. Taylor Chorney for Scarbosa. And this game is over. San Jose's victory means that they will advance and play another round. Gary, when you win four games to one in a series, you were the better team. So close. So, so close. Yet so far. The San Jose Sharks eliminate the Oilers. Yeah, again, the AI to this day still play the same way, where they try to deke a lot. But uh, he just could not get the better of Antero Nidimaki and the San Jose Sharks, but a very promising season to get back in the playoffs. Again, the arguments there, did I blow it by sending down John Scott? Maybe, maybe not. But a quick look at the final numbers from the series that was, as our leading scorer was Gilbert Brule. That's a bad sign. That's a bad sign. Crosby had just two points. That top line finally cooled off. And the second that top line cooled off, that was GG's.
Molson into default. Matt Molson is gone. Minus six. Bye, Matt. You ruined it. I can understand Tyler Toffoli at, what, a 71 overall? But my God, he was terrible. The top line couldn't deliver, and Matt Molson actively threw the series. Um, and defensively, Plot Gormley was actually pretty good, too. Could argue Taylor Tronia was our worst defenseman. Um, Darcy Kemper tried, but yeah, pieces just didn't come together. Um, I was wondering about the whole three years thing, but let's be honest, we got to keep going with this. This team is way, way too interesting to stop now.